Okay, so today's tutorial is for APA style formatting, which everyone who's taking college classes or doing research papers for their job knows it can be very tedious. If you do not have a pocket guide, I would suggest that you get one. It is a very useful reference to look into whenever writing any paper. So we're going to look at the first part of doing our paper, which will be formatting our page setup. So what you're going to do is you're going to look here. I have everything typed out as it needs to be. Um, we're going to look at our margin size just to make sure everything is set up for one inch. And you do that by going up into the file, going down to page setup, and it's going to open up the page setup pop-up screen. And as you'll see, everything here is set for one inch. You can adjust this by either clicking up and down on the arrows or highlighting the number and just setting it to what you need. You do want to keep note that you want this to apply to the whole document so that way all of your writing will have all these attributes to it. And click OK. The next thing that we are going to look at is our font style. We're going to be using Times New Roman, which is what is set in the reference guide to be a standard. So you want to go ahead and click that. As you can see, there's many different font styles here that give you examples. But go ahead and select Times New Roman and make sure that your font size is at 12, which is the standard. The last thing that we need to set up is we meet, need to make sure that there's double line spacing. So you're going to do that by go ahead and going over to this box with the up and down arrow. And you're going to click your line space to 2 which as you can see it just put a space in between these two lines that were here and that's how it should be throughout your whole paper if you go ahead and you try to do these changes after you're done doing your paper you might notice that it could shift your paragraphs or take certain things out of format if you're using bullets and it's a little meticulous to go ahead and try and fix everything afterwards my next tutorial will be on our APA style format heading page or cover page that you're going to be doing. Um, there's a lot of in-depth ways to lay out the paper. I'm probably going to go ahead and just do a standardized more simple page. Um, I myself am a Rasmussen student and I'm using this for all of my online courses um, so I don't have like a dissertation page or anything like that to, to do. I will be doing simple term papers. So if you are unfamiliar with this, hopefully it will help you in your writing. Thank you.